their prehistoric crew. So it's my 34th birthday today. I'm spending it at Neolithic Chateauhuyuk, a UNESCO World Heritage Site that I've been working at since 2012. We've got some raw Turkish obsidian here from Cappadocia. I didn't collect this stuff myself, so I don't know the exact subsource. But when I break it open, I'll be able to tell you. These are some fairly small pieces I'm going to start with. There's a bunch of cracks and Hertzian cones and other faults in these, so I'm not holding out too much hope. But I'm going to get warmed up and practiced on these small pieces. And I've got some larger ones down there that I'm going to use to make some large blade cores, replicate some Neolithic technologies. Sorry for the wind noise and the camera bobbing around probably. There's always a little bit of wind here. Lots of birds will be joining us today too. Without further ado, why don't I just get started? I'm just going to make a rough biface with this at first. Hopefully I can turn it into a fairly long, narrow, floral leaf point with some nice pressure flaking patterns in it. strange echo in here, but this is the space I got to work with. I'll show you in the light later, but this looks like it's from the Kelatepe workshop outcrop in Galuda. the Komurchu outcrop where the Kale Tepe workshop was found. Got through some of the faults close to the surface there. A little bit of a step fracture, but that's okay. Thank you. 
some ash pockets or ferrolites in there. little overshot. That's a nice one. Pretty tricky piece to work with. A lot of weird angles. platforms to work with. Hopefully this is all showing up on camera. time so I can't really see the screen as I'm doing this I'm just kind of hoping for the best
gonna try and leave this face alone as much as I can so I can remove this stuff first. Trying to fix that up with that thick flake here. Filming, filming a video, yep. Yeah. Oh, is that the new stuff he's collecting? Yeah. Cool. So soft. Yeah. It's like putty. Wow. Awesome. Yes, I'm soft. Gonna try and make some pots out of it today. Whatever I can out of tissues. <laughs> to check you out. I'm gonna show everybody how to do this later. I'm just You're warming up and practicing, yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> see ya.
shaped out. Pockets. There's lots of cracks in there. I'll probably have to lose a bunch of this end. There's a real messed up spot in there. I think I can get around it now.
And we don't know how else to tackle this edge, other than just try and take a big flake out the middle, and then work my way outwards from the platform that gets created. trickier. I'll have to come down from this way first.
That was a bit risky, getting it from the end like that. But no end snap, and I got something started there. still quite ugly here. There was a natural fault in the stone. I'm going to have to lower this edge and try and come back at it like that. but I think I'm just going to have to go for it, take something off there. There we go. That worked nicely. I knew that wanted to come off. I don't think this was caused by me. Maybe it was, but it's okay. It's just more accessible now.
knock this bit off. Ferrolite in there that was causing some difficulty. There's a couple left. The sun's starting to creep into my napping area. This video is probably getting a little long. I don't have my indirect percussion tool here with me, so I'm just doing hammer stones. Got my little antler that I can use, but anyways, it's still a bit thick in the middle here, and I still have some controlling of this edge to do, but more or less, I've got everything 
somewhat under control. All the edges are not great, but fairly nice anyways. If I can make an indirect percussion tool soon, I can do some better thinning of this. I think I might leave it here for now. Like I said, this video is getting pretty long. I don't know if I'll be able to upload these while I'm here. We have decent internet, but it's pretty slow and it cuts out a lot, so I don't know if I'll be able to upload my 4K videos here. Maybe I'll cut this into smaller segments and see if I can upload, I don't know, 10 minutes at a time. That would be kind of annoying, splitting this into, well, four segments. It's been almost 45 minutes already. I think that was a good start. This looks fairly close to some archaeological examples of biface preforms we have from this site. They didn't make a lot of bifacial points, but there are some examples of really well-made bifacial laurel leaf blades that were put in burials as grave offerings or whatever you want to call them.